want to preach about eternal life. John 3 and verses 14 and 15. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Uh, John uh, chapter 5 verse 39 search the scriptures for in them ye think ye have eternal life and they are they which testify of me this is the Lord Jesus Christ speaking and you will not come to me that ye might have life I want to have you come to Jesus Christ to receive eternal life this life is in his son in God's son for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared to get right with God? The only way we can be right with God is through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who died upon the cross. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. John chapter 6 verse 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. John 10 verses 27 and 28. My sheep hear my voice and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John 17 verses 1 to 3. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's all about eternal life. And our sins have caused a separation between God and ourselves, and he will not hear. And yet there is a way back to God from the dark paths of sin. That is through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who died upon the cross. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. What you need to do is come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you're a sinner and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's two destinations when we die. See the heaven through faith in Jesus Christ as your saviour or it's down in hell if you die without Christ I'm here to tell you this afternoon that you can receive forgiveness for your sins through the precious shed blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins but if we look at the words of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. That could be a question to you this afternoon. Do you have everlasting life? Uh, John uh, chapter five, uh, 6 and verses 46 to 58. Not that any man has seen the Father, save or except he which is of God. He has seen the Father. Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. He's speaking of the children of Israel here in the Old Testament. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. He's speaking concerning himself. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. 
Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath ever eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. He's talking symbolically here. He's not talking concerning cannibalism. For my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. As the Father, as the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead, he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. I wonder have you eaten of the bread of life, the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you been a partaker of that which can only come through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? That is eternal life through faith in Him. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. He was buried and He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. What you need to do is come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you're a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The one is your soul saved. Are you on your way to heaven through faith in Jesus Christ? There's only one way of salvation. And it's only found in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Come to the one who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Do it now. Just come in repentance toward God. In other words, change your mind, agree with God that you're a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's either heaven or hell at the moment of death. What will it be for you? It's determined by what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Well, look at the words of Simon Peter, thou art that cr the Christ. Uh, John chapter 6 and verse 59, These things said he in the synagogue, as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is an hard saying, who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, it is the Spirit that quickeneth or makes alive, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore I say unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my Father. From that time many of his disciples went back, and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen uh, you twelve, and one of you is a devil that is a false accuser? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. If I were to ask you this afternoon, are you a Christian? Are you saved? Have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? What would your answer be? You see, if we have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as our Saviour, we are going down to hell. We're facing the judgment of God. And this is serious. This is a matter of eternal life or death. And you and I, when we're born into this world, we're spiritually dead as far as God is concerned. He wants to make us alive in Christ. In other words, he wants to give us life, spiritual and eternal life. This life is in his Son, in God's Son. 
He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. I wonder, do you have the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour? You must have him to be in heaven. There will never ever be anyone in heaven apart from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God who came down from heaven to die upon the cross for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. I wonder where does that find you? Are you, a, are you saved? Are you a child of God through faith in Christ? You see, we must be born again into God's family through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, to be in heaven. As I said, there will never ever be anyone in heaven apart from faith in Christ. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour. You have a personal responsibility to get right with God by faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Don't leave it another second. It's too dangerous not to be saved, not to be a child of God. We never know who is going to be the next one of the 150,000 odd people who die daily. We might be the next one. We don't know. We're all headed for eternity. I wonder, eternity where? Heaven through faith in Christ or the lake of fine brimstone where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. No need for that. You can be saved by the grace of God this afternoon through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Well, look at uh, who will be in the lake of fire. The revelation of Jesus Christ and uh, chapter 21 and verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, that takes in all of us, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fine brimstone, which is the second death. But the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross that we won't have to go to the lake of fire. But we will be there if we die without Jesus Christ as our Saviour. Now the fearful, those who are faithless, unbelieving, those who have not received Christ as their Saviour, abominable, those who are disgusting, murderers, those who commit murder, this includes abortion and euthanasia, whoremongers, that is fornicators, sorcerers, those who use drugs and practice witchcraft, idolaters, those who worship false gods or idols, this would include worshipping images of singers, film stars, models, etc. Liars, those who tell lies, that's, as I said before, that takes in all of us. The crowning unforgivable sin is unbelieving. All the other sins can be forgiven by repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, 1 John 4 verse 9 In this was manifested the love of God toward us uh, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. You see the problem we have is spiritual death. We are spiritually dead as far as God is concerned. We need to be made alive in Christ. We need to be born again into God's family through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Without that new birth, if we die in our sins, we'll be in the lake of fire for all eternity, as I've just read. The sins that will take us to the lake of fire. As I said, the crowning sin is unbelief, is rejecting Jesus Christ. You and I have an opportunity to get right with God again this afternoon. I want to let you know that you're on your way to hell without Jesus Christ. But what you need is forgiveness for your sins. That forgiveness is only possible through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ and your right response to that. You see, you can either receive Christ or you can reject Him. But if you reject Him, you do it at your own peril. Because at the moment of death, you'll be in hell. You'll be under the judgment of God. This is serious. This is eternal matters here we're talking about. You and I have a spirit and soul that leaves our body at the moment of death. Where will you be? Five seconds after you die. 
Will you be in heaven through faith in Jesus Christ, or will you be down in hell because you've rejected the Lord Jesus Christ? This afternoon you can receive forgiveness for your sins through faith in our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Don't leave it another second. What you need to do is come in repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask my question this afternoon. Have you come to Jesus Christ for eternal life? John 5 verse 36. But I have greater witness than that of John. This is the Lord Jesus Christ speaking. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. And the Father himself which has sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape, that is, the Father. And ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he has sent, being himself, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me, and ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I wonder, have you come to Jesus Christ to receive eternal life? That eternal life is only possible through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ upon the cross of Calvary. And your right response to that. You see, we're either going to heaven or we're going down to hell at the moment of death. I receive not honour from men, he said, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, but I know you that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honour one of another, and seek not the honour that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. If ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? You see, Moses spoke, and he wrote concerning the Lord Jesus Christ. He wrote that the Lord Jesus Christ would come eventually. When the right time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the righteousness of God by faith in Jesus Christ. You see, this righteousness is available for you and for me. Without the righteousness of God, we will never ever be in heaven. You and I are sinners in the sight of God when we're born into the world. We need forgiveness for those sins. The only way we can receive forgiveness is through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. His precious blood that was shed is all sufficient for your salvation. You see, without the shedding of blood there is no remission, no forgiveness for our sins. The forgiveness of sins is only possible through the precious shed blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ which he shed upon the cross. About 2,000 years ago, the Son of God came down from heaven and lived the perfect life upon earth that you and I could never live. And then he died the perfect death upon the cross of Calvary for you and for me. The substitutionary death of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, which he offered himself once for all upon the cross of Calvary, that you and I could be brought back to that holy, sin-hating God. You and I have, have sin upon us, have sin in us. We have a sinful nature. The Lord Jesus Christ does not have that sinful nature. It's impossible for the Lord Jesus Christ to sin. He knew no sin, he did no sin, and in him is no sin. Unlike you and I, who are full, full of sin, we're sinners in the sight of God when we're born into this world. We need to become saints. We need to become children of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
As I keep on saying, there'll never ever be anyone in heaven apart from the Lord Jesus Christ and his wonderful sacrifice upon the cross. And your right response to that. You see, you can either receive Christ or you can reject him. It's up to you. But if you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, it will mean at the moment of death, you'll be in hell. God does not want any of us to go down to hell. He's made the provision for your salvation and mine that we would be in heaven. It's either heaven or hell at the moment of death. This is serious. This is deadly serious. Because it's your eternity that's at stake here. You'll either be in heaven for all eternity through faith in Jesus Christ as your saviour. Or you'll be down in the lake of fire and brimstone where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. There's no need to go there. God has made the way of escape through his son Jesus Christ. You just need to come in repentance toward God, which is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you're a sinner and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ.